Hey everyone, happy Monday. Like many of you, I have a quote of the day calendar. And today's quote comes from Dr. Martin Luther King in honor of today, Martin Luther King Day. Let's pause for a moment and listen to these words of wisdom from Dr. King. One must learn to make the transition from let this cup pass from me to nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. And God grant this morning as you go out and face life with all of its decisions, as you face the bitter cup, which you will inevitably face from day to day, God grant that you will learn this one thing, and that is to make the transition from this cup to nevertheless. This quote is an excerpt from a sermon Dr. King preached on Palm Sunday in 1957, and he was referencing the time in scripture when prior to his crucifixion, Jesus visited Gethsemane and prayed these words to his father. My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. Talk about a bitter cup Jesus had coming to him. He knew his crucifixion was near, yet when he prayed, he asked for the cup to be passed from him, but if not, that his father's will be done. What courage that took. As we leave Christmas time in Epiphany and sit in the days of ordinary time prior to the season of Lent, we may have many bitter cups that come our way. And it's easy for our focus to be taken from the will God has for our lives. It's easy to just sit in the bitterness of these cups. But God's will prevails, and he wants us to be seated comfortably at a table that he places in the presence of our enemies. These enemies are our bitter cups, whatever they may be. And he wants us to sit at this table that is filled with his love, mercy, grace, kindness, and protection. So as we enter these next several days leading up to Lent, let's practice the nevertheless. Let's look at these bitter cups and say, even though I have this bitter cup in my life, whatever it may be, I nevertheless will want your will for my life, not mine. I hope the rest of your day is beautiful and bright. I know it sure is right now. So whatever you're doing today, hopefully you have a day off but whatever you're doing, I hope you are embracing the love, light, and blessings in your life. And I look forward to seeing you same time, same place next week as we practice the nevertheless. Love and blessings to you, my friends.